Katie. I'm from Q&A with Lady K. You make so many impressions on people today. Is there somebody that has made a really strong impression in your career? On me? Oh, well, you know, um, uh, Catherine O'Hara. Like, I really thought it was funny uh, what uh, McNeil uh, did with Catherine O'Hara because yeah, that's yeah. the way I feel about her, yeah. too. Like, oh, my God, Catherine O'Hara and Andrew Martin. And they were so great on SCTV. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think I'm that much younger. I maybe, you know, but, but they were on before us. And so uh, it was just, yeah, they were really amazing. Mary Walsh, everybody. Thank you so Thank much. You, guys. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. What advice do you have for young Canadian talent following in your footsteps? Wow. Uh, if anything, I would just say to, to, to keep it about the work, uh, to find a community of friends and family and people who inspire you, who are doing similar things. Um, you know, we don't all have all the answers. I still don't have all the answers, but I'm fortunate enough to have a great community of people um, who I can look up to, um, refer to, my brother being one of them. Um, who inspire me and, and continue to uh, uplift me. This movie centers on family and the lengths people go. So what do you value most about your own family? Um, I mean, it might be what I just said in, in French, but it's, um, I think, more than just a, an artistic family. My, my family is a, a very loving and open and, um, yeah, just a very present family. And I think that that was the greatest gift that, that could be given to me. It's just like to have people to were open and loving enough to just accompany me through anything and everything, so that, that must be the greatest thing, yeah. What's the best advice you've ever been given? <laughs> wow. Jeez. Uh, um, breathe. <laughs> yeah, that's good advice. Breathe. Uh, don't forget your breathing. Um, uh, other than that, you know, treat everyone the same. Hang up your costume. That kind of thing. Hi, my name is Katie. I'm from Q&A with Lady K. Congratulations on Thank your you. award. What have you learned from working with Billy Campbell, and what would you say you, or what, what do you feel like you've taught him? Um, well, watching, watching him act, it's really, he's just following his intuition. And he's not questioning things over and over again. He's just, he's just present for the character, for the scene, for the crew. Um, yeah, it's just presence. And that's what this job should be about. And sometimes you try to um, impress, uh, please, um, show that you can be vulnerable enough. But no, you just have to be present. That's it. So that's what I've learned from him. And uh, I don't know. <laughs> My name is Katie from Q&A with Lady K. Congratulations. Thanks. What have you learned about yourself from working on this series? Uh, that's a great question. I, I've learned that I'm not afraid to make that 4 o'clock in the morning when they've sent me the edit on the third show of season one that to me was so badly cut so badly thought about, so badly missed the point as to what I knew, being in every scene with Anthony, what it was supposed to be. And I'm, I'm not afraid to speak up. And I think Mark Montefiore and Fiore would say that about me, and Natalie Rodriguez, and Michael Economist are, are valuable. I've learned that I love to watch the edit come in and give my objective, not subjective, opinion. Um, Con, we, we, you can't talk very long up there, right guys? And you get 45 seconds and gosh, if I would have won the first award of the night, I, I could have talked for eight minutes, but when you're one of the last ones, you're playing music when I was, uh I want to talk more about Mark, Michael Conovis. But um, what I've learned about myself is I, I think I, I, I'm never afraid to fail. I think I'm, I'm so proudly Canadian. I think I'm just so, uh, I want to I do battle with everyone on the boards. I wish I would have been able to work with Brando. He was my boy. Um, and, and I've worked with some of the greatest directors in the world, and uh, 
I have a voice, and, and I'm not afraid to speak it now, really. I don't know if I ever was, but now that I've been given that opportunity, what a, what a, what a great place, and I'm just so grateful for it all. Kim, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more interviews from the CSA red carpet right over there.